Hello Year 10, today we're going to continue with solving equations. We're going to look at solving equations that have letters on both sides of the equal sign. It should always be the same letter like x on the left hand side and x on the right hand side. Um, we shouldn't be looking at having two different letters just yet. Um, all of us should be able to do that. Some of us should be able to solve letters that have or equations that have letters on both sides and also brackets. I'm sure you'll be fine at that. And some of us might even move on to letters on both sides and fractions because like I said before, everyone just seems really afraid of the fractions. All right, let's get started. So in order for us to solve these equations, we need to get all the letters together so that we just have a bunch of, of one letter, like a bunch of y's is equal to a particular number. So the first question says 7y is equal to 2y plus 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move all of the letters to the left hand side of the equation. And I'm going to do that by subtracting 2y from this side. If I get if I take 2y away from the right, then I'm just going to be left with 20, which is exactly what I want. So I'm also going to take 2y away from the left. So let's go ahead and actually work this out. 7y take away 2y is 5y, and 2y take away 2y is 0, and then the only thing we have left is 20. So just like yesterday's lesson now, we've got 5y is equal to 20, so we can divide both sides by 5, we get y is equal to 4. All right, that is the easiest way we can do this. We've got a letter on both sides and just one number. The next example is the same idea, but we've got two lots of numbers as well. So I'm going to start very much the same way I did last time, and I'm going to start by getting, uh, let's read the question first, actually. Uh, 10t minus 5 is equal to 3t plus 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this 3t on the right-hand side by subtracting it, and we're going to do the same thing on the left-hand side. And I'm just trying to keep everything lined up. I want to get the letters together and the numbers together. So the other thing that I'm going to do, um, this is going to get rid of these numbers and letters over here. So now I'm going to try to get rid of this minus 5 by adding 5. So if I add 5 to the left, I also have to add 5 to the right. So now that I've got all of that, let's make this look a little bit nicer. Um, let's go and work this out. 10t minus 3t is 7t. Minus 5 plus 5 is 0, which is exactly what we wanted. We didn't want to have any numbers by themselves on the left. 3t take away 3t is nothing, which is perfect again. And then 9 plus 5 is 14. So now we've got 7t is equal to 14. So we can divide both sides by 7 and t is equal to 2. I would definitely expect that everybody in the class is able to do those kinds of questions today. All right, um, let's make them a little bit more complicated. Any ideas on how we can solve these? So the first question says 2 bracket d plus 3 is equal to d plus 12. Hopefully your suggestion was to expand the brackets. That is a really good idea. So we'll multiply the 2 times the letter d and 2 times 3. So we get 2d plus 6. And then nothing happened to the other side, so we can just go ahead and write that. And now this question is exactly the same as the previous slide, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract the letter D from both sides. So take away D, take away D, and I'm also going to go ahead and add, uh, no, not sorry, not add, subtract 6 from both sides. So minus 6 and minus 6, and let's see what I'm left with. 2D take away D is just D. You could say 1D if you want to, but you don't have to. And 12 take away 6 is 6. There we go, question's finished. D is equal to six. Now you might be thinking for the next question, for question B, that it's much more complicated because there's two brackets and we have to do something crazy. We don't, just go ahead and expand the brackets. You know how to expand brackets? Three X plus 12 is equal to five X minus 10. And then we go ahead and work all of our magic. So we want to, ooh, this is this one's interesting. So up until now, I've always been getting the letters on the left-hand side. And the reason I've been getting the, le the letters on the left-hand side is because the letter and number combination was always bigger on the left-hand side. Um, so for instance, if we look back real quick, um, you can see right here, 2D is bigger than just D by itself, because there's two of them and not just one. Um, so I often want to try to get rid of the thing that is the smallest, the smallest number that I have. So if I'm looking at 3x and 5x, I'm actually going to get rid of the 3x so that 
I don't have to deal with negatives. That would be my suggestion to you. If you want to do it another way, you are more than welcome to. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. So this means I want to get all of my numbers over here. So I'm going to have my x's on the right. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to have my numbers. So which means I need to get rid of this minus 10. Um, are you thinking that to get rid of the minus 10, I'm going to add 10? Hopefully you are. So I'm going to do that to both sides. So let's go ahead and work that out. So 3x minus 3x is nothing, which is brilliant. And then 22 from 12 plus 10. And 5x take away 3x is 2x. And minus 10 plus 10 is 0. So I've got 22 is equal to 2x, which is the same as 2x is 22. It doesn't matter. And then divide both sides by 2, and x is 11. All right, let's make it even more complicated. We're going to add the fractions in now. All right, so with the fractions, we've got one question that has um, just one fraction and one that has two fractions. So let's go ahead and try this. Now, I always think it's a bit sneaky when they do this, but we've got 4x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 4 all divided by 3. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this divided by 3 here. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to times both sides of the equation by 3. But what happens is when I times the left-hand side by 3, a lot of times people only want to multiply the 4x by 3. You actually have to put everything in the left-hand side into brackets. Okay, so we want to bracket all of that. So the question is going to actually look like this. 3 bracket 4x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 4. And now that I've got that done, that's actually just pretty much the same as the last slide. So I can expand. And then I can collect up my letters and numbers. So again, I've got 12x on the left, which is the bigger number. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to get my all my numbers on to the left. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And I've got 10x is equal to uh, negative 4 plus 9. Negative 4 plus 9, which is 5, because it's the same as 9 take away 4. Normal 9 take away 4. All right, so we've got that is all equal to 5. Uh, now another lovely example where people like to do silly things. What we have to do on the next step is we actually have to divide both sides by 10. And people like to make up their own rules when they get to this part of the question. So I divide both sides by 10, and I'm left with x and 5 over 10. Now that's an acceptable answer. Also acceptable is a half or 0 0.5. Not acceptable is an answer of 2. I don't know why. Everyone likes to tell me that 2 is the answer. It's definitely not. 2 times 10 is 20, not 5. All right, so that's our first example with um, brackets and fractions. Um, the same thing is actually going to happen on question B. We're going to have to put in two sets of sneaky brackets. So we've got x plus 3 divided by 4 and 2x minus 4 divided by 3. So I'm going to put in brackets here and here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this 3. I'm going to I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So multiply by 3 and multiply by 3. But I'm also going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. And the reason I'm going to do that is, hopefully you'll see in a second, here's what happens. This 4 and this 4 cancel each other out because 4 divided by 4 is 1. And this 3 and this 3 cancel each other out because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So what happens is this 3 down here multiplies across the equal sign over there. And this 4 down here multiplies across the equal sign that way. Um, so we end up with 3 bracket x plus 3 equals 4 bracket. I'm just going to put the 4 at the front because that's where we're used to seeing it. Bracket 2x minus 4. And then you can go ahead and expand that. 3x plus 9 is equal to 8x minus 16. And this time I'm going to put all of my letters um, on the right-hand side because 8x is bigger. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So minus 3x, minus 3x, um, which means I'm going to have to add the 16 here and add 16 there. So I end up with 25 is equal to 5x. And again, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 
and I get 5 is equal to x. Alright, so that's all from me today, solving equations. We've got solving equations with letters on both sides, solving equations with letters on both sides and brackets, and solving equations with letters on both sides and brackets and fractions. Alright, so you go ahead and try the tasks at the end of the PowerPoint and let me know if you have any questions. Bye!